change of plan. James was boasting. The fat controller asked me to pull a goods train today, he said. Oh, uh, okay. Why are you telling us? You know, I knew you'd be curious, Ryan. I'm telling you because it was a last minute change of plan, just as I was leaving the shed. Really, it is an honour to be so highly trusted. That's not what you said this morning, James, said Percy. You said it was a liberty and that the fat controller could shove... No, I didn't, Percy. Don't tell tales out of the station. It's an honour, and because of my hard work, he's asked if I'll take the express tomorrow. That's not what he said. He said Gordon's away and Henry's... Shut up, Percy. James? What? If you worked as hard as you spoke, you'd be the hardest working engine I know. That shut James up. For a little while, at least. Hey, Doc, what are those? James demanded. They're mail vans, James. It says so on the side. You're taking them on your train. What, me? Me? cried James. That's not what it says on the timetable. I'm pulling the express. Well, there's been a change of plan. It's still an express, just with a couple of extra mail vans. Shan't, said James. I'm fed up of changes. Give them to Percy. He loves pulling the mail. But they gave them to James. <laughs> Duck felt sorry for James. He arranged with the station master to take the mail vans himself as a special. But James was making such a fuss that nobody wanted to tell him. Come on, let's go! Come on, let's go! He chanted crossly. Can't pull mail vans, won't pull mail vans, he muttered. I'll show that duck what I can and can't do. By the time James reached Gordon's Hill, he had a plan. Now I'll show them, now I'll show them, thought James. Come on, old boy, let's gun it, encouraged his driver. But try as they might, James wouldn't go. Come on, James, else we'll stick on the hill. Which was exactly what James wanted, and exactly what he did. Oh dear, said James. I thought the train was too heavy. Now we will need help. It just goes to show, he added pointedly, that I know my limits. James Fireman went to telephone for a banker. Duck was stopped at Edward Station. The station master walked up. Leave those mail vans, Duck. I need you to help James over the hill. He's overloaded. No, he isn't, said Duck. I've got the rest of his load here. Yeah. The station master stared. What? What? Oh, what a nerve! I've half a mind to bring him back here and tell him just what I think of his... <clears throat> Beg pardon, sir, but I shouldn't think the passengers would like that. They're late enough already. I do have an idea of how we can teach him a lesson, if you can spare Edward. James was bored. Meh. What are you looking at? Ah, so you finally come to give me a push. Yes, James. Well, I think this is an I told you so moment, and tell you I did. I told you I couldn't manage with those mail vans, and you with your silly great western way didn't listen to me, and now... You were saying something, James? said Duck. James didn't say anything. He took off like a scolded cat.
When James arrived at the other end of the line, the passengers complained to the station master about the delay. It's not my fault, James groused. Duck should have told me. Should have told you what, James? Uh, well, it's that duck, sir. He took away the mail van, sir. But I thought he didn't, sir. It was a last minute change of plan to a... To a last minute change of plan. My engines do the work I give them, James. You should know that by now. Since you dislike last minute changes so much, you can pull the mail train, and only the mail train, until I can trust you to behave. James found doing the same thing over and over again became boring. He is looking forward to getting his old jobs back, because then he knows that he will be a really useful engine once again. Ah, uh, James! James! Change of plan! I need you to lend a wheel here. Oh, oh, oh.